Brian Beeler's rounding them up. It's going to be August 28th. For sale, 1937 Chevrolet pickup truck. So this search request comes from a subscriber. And like this subscriber, there's a maker model vehicle you'd like to find for sale. It's free and easy to do. Subscribe to the channel. Drop in the comments below on any of the rounding them up episodes. What it is you're looking for. A year, make, model. And I'll round them up for you. So this is going to be my pick of the day. You always see the one in the banners. My pick of the day. So I use it for a banner shot. It'll be the last one we talk about until you want. It's not going to be in price order. So it's going to be Facebook Marketplace. And it's going to be a couple on Craigslist there at the end. They're in price order. Lowest to highest. I've deleted off the duplicates. And let's get started. It's a cool search right here. 1937 Chevy Cab. That's what we're going to start off with for $2,500. It's going to be listed 18 weeks ago in Texas. So if you want to find it, that's what you do. Is go to Texas, punch in 1937 Chevy Cab. It'll come up. It's been on here 18 weeks. Two photos of it. And yeah, that's the cheapest thing we found to start this 37 Chevy truck search. On to another one. It's going to be another cab. So it's a 1937 Chevrolet truck. 2750 is asking for this one. 20 weeks ago, California. 1937 truck cab I was gonna build it but he didn't it's got a title or not you have to hit him up and ask him if he's got a title let's show the cab got four pictures of that one so if it was cab you're under we found one for under three grand anyway on to another one finally got to a truck I'd personally go buy this over them either of those cabs Considering this was just posted three weeks ago in California. It's a 1937 GMC truck. That's how you'd have to type it in. And it's 2880. That should have been the pick of the day, right? It's a pretty great looking truck. It's like it's somewhat all together. No engine or trans in it. Dash is all pulled out. Seats are gone. Glass is gone. It says 38 after we look down here but he had it listed as a 37 now it says 38 GMC pickup truck good for project need TLC sold ass parts very cool truck so I guess it doesn't have no paperwork no title that's what it says on to another one probably still a better deal than just going and buying a cab for that kind of money next one's going to be three grand it's going to be 1935 so I'm not sure how we got this on here so I've been due to screw one up. This is our third premiere this evening. Guess you could kind of give me a break, right? So we put in quite a few hours doing three searches tonight. And I think they're only going to be a little over 15 minutes on all the searches here. So this is a mid-30s Chevy truck. You don't even know what year it is. So it doesn't have a title. Missing the box and the rear end. Hasn't run in 40 years. Only one picture. On to another one. Going to be a 1937 Chevy truck. Got to be in Kansas, 3500 bucks. Doesn't say how long ago it was listed. Doesn't say missing the hood. 2500 No, he's not parting out. Clear Kansas title. There you go. He's missing a tire off the front, too. It was a tow truck. Got a boom in the back with cable still on it. So the boom's gone. So the tire's gone. Hood's gone. Windshield's busted. 3500 bucks for that. Again, Kansas area, just punch in 37 Chevy truck, it'll come up onto another one. These are all going to be Facebook Marketplace here for a while. It's going to be a 1937 Chevrolet truck, so he's got it posted, 3500 bucks again in Kansas. I don't know if that's any better than the last one. You're only getting two photos. There you see, you got two in the Kansas area. This one was posted two days ago. Absolutely no description on it. On to another one. I mean, 1937 Chevy Chevrolet Silverado is how he has this one posted. It's going to be in Nebraska. So it's actually posted as Silverado 3500 because he wants 4100 for it. Been posted 21 weeks. Got the spare tire up on there, and this is a big, big suspension under this one. No, it's a one ton. Only two photos. On to another one. That was 21 weeks, three weeks that truck had been on here. Check this one out, 1937 Chevrolet Half Ton. So he's got the description, 4,500 bucks five hours ago. So this truck just went on five hours ago. 
This video will be premiering about 8.30, so three hours from now. So by the time I premiere this video, it will be posted for eight and a half hours. Doesn't have really good photos of it. 4500 bucks is the price. It says, yes, it's available if it's posted. It's got the six-cylinder, four-speed manual with no title. On to another one. A 1937 Chevrolet truck, 4750 in Oregon. Clean title on this one. Project Apart, six cylinder, four speed. No front fenders, no running boards, no bed. Clean title. Check that out. Got to go all the way to Oregon to give them a glass and a title. But you're definitely still missing parts. And we're at 47.50. So on to another one. We're up to five grand. It's gonna be a 1937 Chevrolet pickup on this one. How he's got it listed. It's gonna be in Massachusetts. Got dual fours on this one. This one might run and drive. At five grand, probably not a bad price. Didn't have any floors or dash in it. So he's got parts laying around there for it. 37 Chevrolet half ton pickup street rod project 350 V8. Turbo 350 transmission. Monte Carlo rear end. S10 gears. Frames been blasted. It's got a nice little printout. Don't say nothing about the title. So you have to hit him up and see if he's got paperwork on it. Not a bad looking project right there. Already got a small box Chevy down in it. On to another one. Thought this was my pick of the day, but I did go with a different truck. This is a good one though. 1937 Chevrolet truck. Posted three days ago for six grand in PA. I, I want to say it was on a mystery search or something maybe, but feels like we've showed this truck before somehow a good possibility it was on mr search and still hasn't sold looks like he's got a glass for it looks like he's got a lot of parts for it six grand on that one and he's got a title in his name so i'm digging that one a lot six grand on to another one it's gonna be a 37 chevrolet truck here for six grand 21 weeks ago washington state so I'd definitely rather have the other truck. This is definitely a big truck. Wanting to build a tilt bed. That'd be pretty cool right there. You need to tow it away is what it says. It doesn't run. On to another one. It's going to be a 1937 GMC GMC. That's been 6,500 listed a week ago in Idaho. Wheeling around in the garage. Got <laughs> a dig the wheel combo. Got a clean looking V8 down in it already. Nice looking grill and hood. I'm digging it. 6,500 on this one. It says 37 GMC, GMC truck. Driven 3,000 miles, rat ride project, no title. So there you go. Still going to Oregon to get that title. On to another one. The 1937 Chevrolet truck here, 7,500 bucks. Listed 10 weeks ago in Iowa. This one don't look bad, man. Suicide of the doors. It would have been cooler if you had put them fenders back on. Because he's actually got the fenders with this. So again, I say that a lot. These guys trying to get big money. He's got 2 by 4s holding this bed up on here. So you got to put them back together. I get that you lose interest. But you're trying to get that money back that you got in it. 7500 bucks. Actually, this doesn't look like a bad deal does say clear title I don't like the shaved up firewall but that's me just need to put more back together on to another one it's my opinion 1937 Chevrolet truck here eight grand listed two weeks ago Maybe in New Mexico so there you go real shitty photos other body style what we got up here 37 half thrift master Chevrolet pickup project needs restoration doesn't say anything about the title it's got some real shitty photos he wants eight grand so we've seen better ones already on to another one it's gonna be 1937 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 that's how he's got it listed for 11 5 16 weeks ago in Wyoming this thing looks sweet so it's all together had the original horn on there I believe yeah, I'm digging this one. It's a decent looking truck. It's 11.5. 
going all the way to Wyoming to get it. But um, it's got a title, says clean title. So digging that. I want a complete one. That's how I like to find them. It's complete. On to another one. It's going to be a 1937 Chevrolet Classics. How he's got this one listed out in New Hampshire. 12 5 for this one. No fenders, no hood, suicide doors, small block V8. Somebody's already rat riding it out for you. So if that's what you're wanting, a turnkey rat ride. So you found one right there. Big question B's the title. Check him out. He's probably got a title. He's in New Hampshire. On to another one. 1937 Chevrolet Rat Ride. 14000 on this one. Listed a day ago in California. Gotta tell you, I dig this one more than the last one. It's probably the coolest looking rat ride we've seen so far. He's only 14 for that. That's a pretty badass looking little truck. I'm digging it. That's what you were after. 37 Chevy Rat Ride. 283, 350 Turbo. I dig it, man. Cool build right there. Red Ox Primer. It looks great. On to another one. We have 37 Chevrolet Silverado. So he's got this one posted. It's going to be 14 2, he's asking. 17 weeks ago, Texas. Clean title. It's been chopped and suicided doors. Texas title. You got to dig that. He's in Texas. He's got a title. The primer looks like shit. So it looks like they aerosoled it with aerosol cans. The rims look great. Tires look great. The interior look pretty shitty. I think the other cars are a lot nicer that we just seen or rat rods. On to another one. It's gonna be 1937 Chevrolet flatbed here for 15,000 five days ago, California. Yeah, look at all the people pile on the back of that. Real crappy photo that we've always mentioned. You could have went to edit and cropped this photo, made the photo. People do that a lot. We see that a lot around them up. Bad photos. That one's a lot better cool truck the big one's what you're looking for one ton or something right it doesn't say nothing about a title it's 15,000 it was listed five days ago Facebook marketplace check it out on to another one a 1937 Chevrolet truck 185 it's gonna be listed a week ago in Ohio so I don't like the bed but that's me Team five for this. Those look cool. Don't get me wrong. I just don't see eighteen five. Big deal in Ohio would be a title, and he's not mentioning nothing about it. So if you're in Ohio looking to buy it off him, you just have to hit him up. Ask if he's got a title for that eighteen five. On to another one. It's gonna be a nineteen thirty seven Chevrolet truck again for nineteen five. This time in Florida. Again, a rat rod. Got it dualied out. Looks like you got a Cummings in there, too. 12 valve Cummings. Rat rod dually. So, I don't know. Engine's all rebuilt and badass. It's worth 10, right? I think the other half the truck's worth 10. I don't know. They had a shotgun up front. So, I think they got a shotgun shifter. Got to kind of dig that. On to another one. Be a 1937 Chevrolet flatbed here for 19.5 in Texas, listed eight weeks ago. Yeah, we use it as a daily driver, it's sitting on an 09 Jeep frame with a V6. You heard it right, it's sitting on an 09 Jeep. So, Texas looking for one you can drive every day. There it is. I imagine the title that comes with it would be for the Jeep. On to another one. It's going to be a 1937 Chevrolet pickup here for 20000 So we've made it to 20000 on these trucks. Listed a week ago in Washington. Yep. I feel like I got drunk looking at some of those photos. I don't know. Listed a week ago in Washington. 37. It's got a 327 engine. Tuck and roll call as is. That's all you get for description. No, it's resell red, right? Rest me, resell red. On to another one. This one definitely looks a lot better. For another 1500 bucks, I'd rather have the one that's not painted red. It's a 1937 Chevrolet S10. That's how he's got it posted. 21.5. Listed a week ago in Oregon again. This one's definitely sick. 
it's on airbags or what it sure is so a nice chassis all done up with airbag suspension I'm digging it man you know I always harp about steering wheels and it's really easy to change the steering wheel and you can bet your ass I'd be finding some other different kind of classic vehicle steering wheel to put in there than that one but that's me it's a badass truck man for 21.5 it's a cool looking truck I'm digging the new school wheels and the airbags on to another one it's gonna be a 1937 Chevrolet street rod two-door cab chopped once 25,000 17 weeks ago in PA yeah, it looks like a running driver so they got four photos that's probably the best one I like the craggers the side pipes doesn't look bad I don't know if it looks like 25,000 or not but that's just how bad you want one it's got a Z28 drivetrain in it that's a map thought that would show more excellent build quality it says you have to check him out that's what you're looking for it's got some motorcycle fenders on the front no hood on to another one yeah 37 Chevrolet S10 again that's how he's got it posted 26,009 weeks ago Florida that's probably the coolest street ride we've seen yet a big old piece of aluminum in there for firewall shaved off the tail lights it's like a nice driver got an s10 tilt wheel in there it's probably sitting on an s10 chassis probably got an s10 title so it has something you have to hit him up and ask him all those questions it's been here for nine weeks florida and he's won 26,000 for it on to another one there's maybe a 29.5 now 37 chevrolet classic listed five weeks ago wisconsin only one picture that thing does look pretty sweet looks original and I like that 29.5 for that though runs and drives great says it's been appraised at 40 I guess I'd have to see the paperwork on to another one it's 1937 Chevrolet pickup 30,000 listed a week ago in New Mexico again so we found a couple out there I don't like this one Looks like the bed's sitting all crooked. And I don't know that it just don't look good. But that's my opinion. It's only got two photos of it on there. I don't see 30,000 at all. On to another one. It's going to be in Nashville here. 1937 Chevrolet K CK 20 Series. 34999 It's got this one on Craigslist. The same truck's also posted up on Facebook Marketplace. So you can look it up on either platform in Nashville. Just punch in 1937 Chevrolet CK Series 20 Series. That's nice, man. Beautiful looking truck right there. Check that out. I dig it. $34,999. I don't know if you're wanting a turnkey, I guess. But again, I don't make up the prices. These are just what people are asking for stuff. None of these cars belong to me. I don't make any commission off sales nor do i ask for any finders fee all i ask is hit thumbs up if you're digging that we're rounding up cars and putting them in the new price order for what you're requesting to see big thumbs ups man i could use some of those that's how you can pay back the channel man it's just by clicking on the thumbs up that you like the video on to another one after looking at this one here we're all gonna feel like we're drunk so i don't know if he's drunk when he started thinking forty thousand dollars but he might have been because i don't know if it's my eyes went blurry or like I said I drank a case of beer but I think it's just his photos and he might have been drinking a case of beer himself when he put forty thousand dollars on it I don't know I do know that orange is my favorite color and those are probably the worst pictures we've showed out of all three premieres tonight and they're full-size photos so that's what's most amazing about it truck is completely restored five-speed manual I don't know I don't see it not 40,000 on to another one this is gonna be in Phoenix 1937 Chevrolet pickup truck for sale driven on 10,404 miles posted 13 days ago so this one's on Cra uh, Craigslist along with the pick of the day was on Craigslist too that don't happen often but this is a nice looking truck man I like the blue even the rally wheels Know where rally wheels look good on there. The dash looks beautiful. The interior is beautiful. It's a beautiful truck. 
can tell they painted that black with a paint gun, not aerosol cans. So it definitely looks cool. So it's got a clean title in it. It's got a 350 with HEI ignition. Four barrel carburetor, aluminum radiator, electric fan, power steering, power disc brakes, Mustang 2 front end, rack and pinion. It's a nice truck. Definitely worth more than the other one we just looked at. You couldn't really tell what you were looking at. But it leads us up to my pick of the day. And that's the one I always say that sometimes you can't get there fast enough. Well, you can't get there fast enough on this one. San Francisco Bay Area. On Craigslist, 1937 Chevy truck. And then he's got it 35, 36, 38. Skip 37 because this is a 37. Just out there for the numbers of them guys looking for these years of the trucks. They're all somewhat similar. Three days ago, 5500 bucks. And this is the one I would go check out. If I was going to buy me one of these, this would be the one that I'd definitely be heading to check out. $5,500. California truck. Yep, with the title. An original 1937 Chevrolet pickup. I've had it run its entire life. It's sat for several years because you don't use it anymore. We'll need a battery and a fuel flush, etc., etc. Was used every year for Christmas tree farm, pumpkin patch, many years. Time for a new life. Great for a winery, brewery, etc., etc. Calls only. Clean title. I'm telling you, this is the one I would go check out. I'm not looking to buy one, but if I was, yep, we're heading to San Francisco Bay Area. I'll take a trailer. Thanks for watching, everybody. This will probably be our last premiere for the night. I don't know how long this took. This is probably longer, 15 minutes, so we was probably on here an hour tonight. So if all you guys tuned in to the premiere and the chat, appreciate all of you. Everybody hits a thumbs up. We appreciate all of you. The subscribers with the requests. I'm catching up a little bit, man. We're almost there. We're done behind maybe a dozen searches. So be sure to ring that notification bell. That way when we do drop new videos, you'll be alarmed and get a, a notification. And if it's something you don't want to watch, like you're not into 37 Chevys, you get the notification. You don't have to tune in. You know what I mean? But thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.